Good evening, Karina Cavallo with ABC News. Pauline Hanson's One Nation is a man down. West Australian Senator Rod Cullison has split from the party as he fights for his political life. He wants the High Court to let him stay in Parliament, but his former friends turned creditors trying to have him declared bankrupt. You're a bunch of nongs, you know nothing about the law. Fighting on all fronts. You got shit for brains, you Police. Two of the men trying to get Rod Cullerton declared bankrupt and who are also challenging his election in the High Court are removed by force. The sideshow a distraction from the fight the newly minted independent has picked with his former leader. I have uh, thrown everything at this. I've kept... I've put other people's matters first. Tensions have been simmering for weeks amid allegations of bullying and intimidation. We've all been under a struggle to deal with his office, his staff. Senator Hanson says her former WA colleague approached her asking for help with his legal fees. I have never asked Pauline Hanson for any funds. Never would I. Would I? He tends to put a spin on a story and he won't tell you the honest truth and come out. But this dispute goes beyond money and to the banks, with Senator Carleton arguing One Nation's watering down his calls for a banking royal commission. My allegiance is with my people that elected me. It's familiar territory for One Nation. A massive win in the 1998 Queensland state election secured the party 11 seats. But six members soon broke away. The comparisons with another recent Canberra implosion are easy to draw, even if some aren't convinced One Nation is set for a similar fate now. No, you are totally wrong. I think anyone who underestimates Pauline Hanson second time round, 20 years on, is, does so at their peril. One potential party suitor has already surfaced. I would welcome Rod Cullerton with open arms. The latest chapter in this saga casts further doubt over the future of Senator Cullerton's Senate seat. If the High Court kicks him out, his brother-in-law is the likely successor in any recount. But one of many questions is whether he would stay in a party his family is fleeing. Matthew Doran, ABC News, Canberra.